What's going on guys? I am Simple Simon. I'm Captain Sorrow. Welcome to this week's comic haul. Woo! We got a few things this week. Uh, decent haul from both of us. Diamond oh. week. It was sub 200 for me though. That's a good That's a good thing when it's under $200. Um, but Sarah picked up a decent stack too. So I'll show you, what, you uh, what we got. You also got a little bit of manga. Mm -hmm. I actually got some manga too. I haven't even shown you yet. <laughs> but uh, you guys will get to see. So let's do this. Would you like to go first? No, you can go first. I can go first. Okay, I'll go first. So I got my previews. How good is that cover? If that's going to be a cover. What's it called? Once Upon a Time at the End of the World. Nuclear Smooch cover. I'm a big fan of that cover. If that's a book, I'll is buy that. Is that a heart in the... Yeah, there's how look the butterflies like being hearts as well. That's cute. It's very cool. So I got my previews and also my Marvel previews. Picked up two Black Label magazine size books. When was the last time you read a Black Label book? Just out of curiosity. Like, what was it? Probably Dead Earth. One of them. One, the Wonder, one of them. Oh, but yeah, right. it, it's been a while. Got a whole box full of them. But my first ever birthday gift from Simon was a Harleen hardcover. There you go. There you go. It's the last Black Label one I read. Is it the only Black Label you've read? No. Okay. This is One Dark Night by Jock. I think this is the third and final issue. So... What are these ones? This is Batman Dear Detective. So this is by Lee Bermeo. And I believe he used a lot of his variant covers and somehow created a story with them. So that'll be a good one for Bermeo fans. Alrighty. Are they canon? Or just side? I, I think it's just stories. some weird little... Because, like I said, all the all the art in there, I think, is actual variant covers, but he's somehow worked a story into it. So yeah, should be interesting. Um, we got some Gun Honey, Blood for Blood. Blood for Blood's one of my favorite bands of all time. Ah, uh, yeah, it's a What's hardcore with that band. Cover? Uh, this is an Adam Hughes cover, which is why I purchased this one. According to my buddy Tylox, who I got to hang out with hang out with yesterday, uh, he was saying that this is actually really really good. Um, Did you read the first one? <laughs> No, but I actually want to. I, they weren't just cover buys, the first one. I actually wanted to read Gun Honey. This is probably the only is, Gun um, Honey cover I'd spend money on. <laughs> you should see the Carla Cohen one. Oh, I might have to get it. It's an exclusive, okay. but have you seen it? Yes, I have seen it's it. It's very good. It's very good. It's very good. Anyway, uh, that's the art germ Gun you Honey. You even said that it's a bit much to mark today. I didn't say it's a bit much. Yes, I just did. said it's pretty full on. Anyway, uh, we've got Vampire. I don't know. I feel like Mark doubled up on some of these. I've got to double check. Because um, he had issue one in there too and I didn't take it because like, I'm pretty sure I've already got issue one. So I've got a feeling um, I might actually have to return this one because I've got a feeling I've already got it. So double check that. This is Cradle of Filth from Opus. Opus is doing all the band, all the band ones like Motorhead, Judas Priest, things like that. So uh, that's a black bag. So we'll check that out in a bit. And then we got House of Slaughter, the body bag. Also, do you want to open mine or yours? I don't care. I don't open mine. Right. I end up opening it when I bag it anyway, so. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. Okay. We got, ooh, this very is nice. Beautiful. Jenny Frizen Poison Ivy. I think I only ordered one. Are you proud of me? I'm very proud of you. It's only a shame that she's. Because she did issue two, now she's done issue four. Yeah, she's not, <laughs> she's not like a permanent artist on it, which is. Kind of sad, but uh, there is um, Rian on her, um, Rian Gonzalez, for those who don't know her. Uh, she posted on her Patreon maybe like two months ago that she got invited to do like one of her favorite characters, which is Ivy. So yeah, I'm excited to see that. Is she doing ratios? It will, be, or? It will I, I'm can probably guarantee it will be a ratio, but I don't know when that one will be released. Okay, or yeah. Uh, we've got Batman 127. I'm struggling. I haven't started Zadarsky's run because I'm struggling to get to it because Williamson's run. Skip. Literally skip Williamson. Yeah, I know. It just feels weird. One. It just it's feels weird if I've got all these Batman books and there's just randomly two, three issues that I didn't it's read. It's very good. Um, the, art, the artist is back to who it was, which is the reason why I dropped it in the first place. I won't bother picking it. It's a waste of 20 bucks every month. I don't need it. I can just read it digitally. I don't care. Batman? <laughs> yeah. Okay. I need it. Minor threats. This is from Dark Horse. I can't remember what this was about, but I read the little blurb in previews mag and I thought it sounded interesting. So I picked up the first issue, Minor Threats. Um, so yeah, if anyone uh, has uh, read that one, let me know. Uh, this next one was an interesting cover, but I just thought it was a cool looking cover. Um, I don't know a lot about this character. I've got it a couple- It might be a spawn. Is it spawn related? Oh, it is a spawn. Yeah, it's a spawn. <laughs> um, I think I got, I got one of the first issues when they all joined together. 
Uh, and I do, haven't read it, but I do plan on reading it, but I just thought that was a really cool looking cover. Seeing on the black there. We've got some Grim. Is that the Frizen cover? Yes. A little Can't bit creepier. Frizen, wow. Yeah, a little bit creepier than usual. <laughs> on the uh, Grim cover there. And that Only one more issue to go. Yeah, so again, I've read the, a lot of first issues recently, but I don't... I've read up to issue... I've, actually, I haven't read this new issue, but I've read up to issue three. Not everyone um, loved Grimm, surprisingly. I, I loved the first issue. I thought it was great. First issue started off real high. The last two issues weren't as high, but it was still okay. pretty good. Okay. For a five-issue mini-series read, it's pretty good. Um, Rogues Gallery... Uh, Did you end up enjoying the first issue? I didn't mind the first issue. It wasn't like it was like blew my mind, but I, it was enough for me to be like, I want to see what's going on here. There was a big thing at the end, wasn't there? Yeah, so this is... Uh, I can't remember who did the cover. Might have been Stephanie Hans, maybe? I could be wrong. I know... Um, God Tank, if you watch this, you'll know, because I think you bought it too. Uh, but yeah, that was... I normally buy the A covers, and I don't think this is the A cover. I'm pretty sure I just bought this because it was the better cover. Cover C. There you go. And then we've got the Greg Land. That's a nice one, isn't it? Yep. Issue 5, last one. That is the nicer of the two covers. I bought these intending to read it, but I've decided I'm not going to read these. I've only because read the first issue. I've been waiting for all of them. Spider-Verse type of stuff kind of just is what put me off Spider-Man. Uh, and there's the beautiful Nakayama cover. And then I got some Alice Ever After. This is also the last issue, right? Five issues, I think? Yes. Five issues, so that's another one I'll definitely... I read the first issue and I thought I'd just wait for the rest to come out. Actually, touching on Greg Land. Um, he the is cover. doing uh, the next round of Star Wars variants. Oh, cool. Yes, he is. Not the Sprouse ones anymore. Uh, they're like the new Hope Anniversary ones, right? Uh, I don't think oh. pictures of them have been released. Yeah, no, they were, but they're, they're called... Like, they're, I think they're like meant to be like the anniversary of A New Hope. Variants, I believe, because I ordered, I ordered a couple blind. I've been too scared to, because <laughs> I don't know what they're going to be like yet. Like, I'm glad <clears> I ordered the Sprouse ones um, blind, because I really like the, the Choose Saber. Your Destiny ones. Yeah, but I don't know. What if I don't like it? That's the that's the scary thing about blind ordering. You could end up with the best cover it's ever. Fun. It's or a gamble. It's like spec. It's like a gamble. <laughs> <laughs> and this is House of Slaughter issue eight. eight. I can't remember if I've read issue seven or not. But this is one of the few, this and Something's Killing the Children, I will actively read because I'm just in love with that universe. So um, yeah, that is issue eight. Uh, I've got a couple more things, but I'll show them later. Let's, okay, let's cool. go over to you. My favorite thing about um, what ha the direction House of Slaughter is going in is you're finding a lot more about the other... Um, Houses. The other colored masks. Houses. No, they're all Slaughter. Oh. Are no. they not called Houses? They're all House of Slaughter. There's the black mask, the white mask, the red mask, the blue mask. I want to find out about the. the I want to find out about the blue mask. Yeah, uh, because they, don't they like kill dragons or something? Shout out to Old Wolf. Shout out to Old Wolf, and um, I haven't really prepared anything, so I'm just going to shout out Tylox. I appreciate you hanging out with me uh, last night. Um, so yeah, if you guys haven't uh, subscribed to Tylox the Mighty, he's a mad mullet. He does some cool live streams where he hangs out with his buddies, and he also he also does a series with um, musicians where he gets musicians from bands to um, show off their collectibles. Um, and I've actually been on one of those before, so make sure you subbed up to Tylox. Let's see what Sarah picked up this week. May as well. I'm just going to open this now. Well, I'll open it while you keep going. Yeah, yeah cool. Uh, what else have we got? There is the prison. That is technically a cover by, but we don't talk about that. Ding! Because <laughs> um, uh, I haven't started reading this IP series. I probably will, but I won't. I'll just read it digitally. Um, the Frizen Grim again. Oh, I've got some Star Wars guy stuff here. I know, you do. <laughs> uh, the Greg Land cover again. <laughs> but Gwenverse, um, I've only read, yeah, I think I said four. I've only read the first issue and wanted to wait for all five issues to come out and then just knock it out all in one go. Uh, we've got Darth Vader issue 26. Yeah. Who's that? Darth Sidious. On the cover there. Um, and then we've got... Dr. Afro issue 23 with Darth Maul. These ones are cool. The last Darth Vader ones, I, was, I, was, I didn't know who the hell it was, but they're still pretty cool covers. Uh, House of Slaughter 8. Um, one I was really excited for that I didn't know would actually come in because I ordered this way after FOC. It was uh, after it came out already, wasn't it? I think it was the week it, was it came a, out. A, yeah. The uh, week it came out. The week it came out, I ordered this. Um, I didn't expect it to come in, so I ended up ordering the second print. But the first print of Heart Eyes came in here. 
It's a vault series. Um, if you haven't seen, Jenny Prison did the 1 in 25, the 1 in 50, and the 1 in 75 for this one, which the cover is very cool. But who's going to be ordering 75 copies of a vault series? I'm pretty sure they sold out everywhere though. I think yeah. it was a popular series. I'm looking forward to reading that and I am very happy to have the first print because I ordered the second print last week because I didn't expect... Neither Mark or I expected it to actually come in. <laughs> And maybe before we do the bag reveals, we'll also do some of the other stuff we picked up. You, yes. you picked up a manga today? Uh, I got a cool hot wheel. I got a cool hot wheel. Again, if you want us to do this week's groceries, we'll <laughs> totally make that a show. This week's groceries. For some exciting stuff. Yeah, we're making we, chili con carne tonight. Yeah, we're making chili con carne tonight, you know? I'm also going to, I want to one day do a video about me making my chili con carne. It's, it's a winning recipe. Sarah, Sarah's fussy as when it comes to food and she likes it. So, what'd, what'd you get? Next volume of Chainsaw Man. This one is pretty. It's all colourful. Yeah, it is. Uh, so I'm up to volume five of that now. I've been trying to get volume two of Spike's Family for my brother to be able to read because he loved the first one and no one has it. It is like sold out literally everywhere uh, because it is probably one of the best manga series I've ever read. It is very good. I, Spy, what's it called? Spy, Spy X Fam Family. Spy I watched the anime. I liked it. I didn't love it, but the manga, Great. It is brilliant. It's very interesting. Okay, so yesterday I went to Comics R Us and just went through a few back issues. Uh, I picked this one up. This came out earlier in the year, I believe. I want to read some of this character. I just think he's a cool looking character. So I picked up Death Dealer. If anyone is reading this, please let me know. Because I know there's been a couple of issues. They do not write the issue numbers anywhere on the book. Is it, the on the, is it on the barcode? Yeah, issue two. Issue two, cover B. There you go. So, Knowledge! Yeah, there you go. But like, you literally, if you didn't know that, like not everyone knows you can read the barcode mm -hmm. and find out. Um, but cool cover, um, but I would like to find out some death dealer. Um, I mean, Does find he out deal about death? Him. I believe he goes out there and deals death like a motherfucker. I also picked up some Star Wars guy back issues. This is The Force Awakens issue four. With uh, Screaming Child in the corner. First appearance of the Knights of Ren, I believe they're called. Oof, Star Wars spec guys. Who were Knights right of Ren? Right here on Simple Simon. Uh, I think it's like uh, Kylo Ren's like his boys. <laughs> it's the best way I can explain it. What Just would your boys be called? Simple Simonians. <laughs> That'd be cool. <laughs> uh, and I also got this in the mail. I bought this off eBay. And it is another manga. Oh my god, this is like heavy. Star Wars. Still the wrong way around. Manga. Yeah, so I think this is, look, it's actually Return of the Jedi. Uh, done in manga style, so uh, manga. I paid six dollars for this on eBay, and there's someone else trying to sell one of these for 120 bucks. Six bucks, baby. Flip it. Uh, maybe. Uh, no. So if you list it at the same price now, there's a bigger chance of it selling because there won't be a cheaper one sitting there. Yeah. So, but anyway, sure. that's cool. Uh, I started reading a Star Wars manga, the one I bought last week. It's interesting. Interesting. <laughs> I like yeah, the character. I like the characters. So when are we going to be able to do our uh, what we read? We'll do that uh, soon, yeah. I promise, because I'm running out of content. So, And it'll encourage me to read, because I reckon I've read six issues in the last two months. All right, so we'll do the House of Slaughter uh, bag. What Body happened? bag. Body bag. Apparently, this is meant to be brutal. Too brutal for people to see. Oh, that is, oh, pretty, that is pretty sick. That yeah. is dope. That is pretty I'm really brutal. bummed. Uh, I missed out. For some reason, I didn't order issue seven, the body bag. Really? And I ordered it, and it's not going to come in, which is sad. I think I got it, didn't I? You did, yes. Is that the one with all the heads? Oh yeah, if you want it, you can um, do favors for me. <laughs> Deal. <laughs> but this one is sick. Yeah, that's actually very I'm very cool. glad that I... That's pretty brutal. That's pretty brutal. The next one is so brutal that I'm going to have to censor it, I think. So, uh, I was never a huge fan of Cradle of Filth. In fact, I don't think I ever was a fan of Cradle of Filth. Uh, but I thought it'd be cool. Oh, okay. Are they? Simon just wants to buy it because it had boobs on it. They're biting it. Ew. This is pretty brutal too. This isn't even like kinky, this is just... This is like... Just gross. This is full on. Alright, ready? <laughs> Not that you guys can see it, but they are literally biting her nipples off. Yeah, it's uh... <laughs> Cannot say that that's like, you know... Mmm. That's all we got for you this week. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I've got a statue unboxing coming out this week. Um, I bought a statue, treated myself the other day to something, so I'll be unboxing that. Uh, if you guys haven't voted for the Comic Book Community Awards or if you missed my video the other day about my hair, I'll leave a link to that somewhere. 
Uh, make sure you guys vote for the Comic Book Community Awards if you haven't already. I had a lot of people agree with me by liking my comment under your Instagram post about the video, saying that uh, he should have let me dye his hair before yeah. he started promoting his hair. It's all about the longevity, right guys? People, <laughs> people just have respect for some guy who wants to look the same for 20 years. Both of us are getting pretty hardcore with our... <laughs> massive on you. <laughs> anyway, uh, uh, if you haven't already, give the video a thumbs up on the way out. We appreciate it. And uh, until next time, say bye, Sarah. Bye, Sarah. And keep it simple. <laughs>